Welcome to Florence, Italy. We're gonna take a little walk through the train station. Here we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was just a gamer back in 69. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you. The primary train station in Florence is Santa Maria Novella, a great example of Italian modernism from the 1930s. It's one of Italy's busiest stations with 160,000 people passing through it every day. The station gets its name from the Santa Maria Novella Church across the piazza from the entrance. Welcome to Florence! There are 19 platforms at Firenze Santa Maria Novello, abbreviated Firenze SMN, on most train schedules, which is right in the city center and a short walk from the Duomo and other major attractions. The entrance hall has the rail ticket office and a few shops and restaurants. This floor, also where you'll find a division of Florence's tourist office, a passenger lounge, a currency exchange desk, the luggage office near platform 16, a post office, and the station's restroom near platform 5. The Florence SMN train station is open from 4.15 a.m. to 1.30 a.m. The main ticket office is in the main building, easily found on the left when walking from the main entrance towards the concourse. It's often quicker to use the self-service ticket machines dotted around the station, which can sell high-speed and mainline tickets with reservations and regional tickets. They have a touch screen with English language facility. The Florence train station has a left luggage office if you need to leave your bags. It's located on platform 16. The station does not currently have free Wi-Fi. The station is a terminus with 19 platforms lined up next to the concourse and numbered left to right as you look towards the trains although platforms one and two are slightly set back from the others and platforms 17 to 19 are set back quite a ways. You walk along platform 16 to find them. The station departure board shows which platform each train leaves from and there are train departure indicators on every platform. You can easily walk between any two platforms in just two or three minutes with level access between all platforms, concourse, and street outside. There is a partition between the concourse and platforms, which you can see in the video, with several entry points at which there is a simple ticket check. It's mainly intended to control access for non-traveling undesirables. I generally find that anything vaguely ticket-like waved in their general direction gets you through. The Florence train station is in the city center. Florence is not a huge city and most sites are easily walkable from the station. It's a 10 minute, 800 meter walk from the station to the Duomo Santa Maria de Fiano. A 15 minute walk, 1.2 kilometer walk from the station to the Ponte Vecchio Bridge. The streets outside the train station are a major hub for bus lines in Florence. So although you can easily walk to most central destinations, you may come back to the station to catch a bus up to Piazza del Michelangelo or to places like San Giomiano or Siena. Taxis are usually plentiful outside the station.
That concludes the information about the Florence train station. What I'm going to do now is just walk around the train station just so you can become familiar with the layout and what it's like. On the right, you can see the security barriers there that we're going to go through in just a second in order to get to the train tracks. Now we are on the other side of the barrier. We have gone through security. Like all the other travelers here, we're just looking up at the board here to see what platform that our train is coming in on. Our train has arrived. We know what platform we're on. We're going to take you through the process of finding the platform, going down the platform, and getting on the train. <laughs>
Thanks for watching. Florence, awesome town. Rome, here we come.